go. Here we go. Uh, hey world, I'm Teddy Jackson, and I want to welcome you to Teddy Bands. <laughs> all right, listen, weights are about to be no more. It's all about the bands. Why? Because this is where you get the best resistance. You can stretch it, and you can do whatever you want with it. The best thing is to get, get you some reps in there, though. Right? Get a lot of reps to where you feel it. <laughs> Shit, I felt, god damn. It's my eye. Got me right on the side of the eye. Damn it. Ooh. 100. <laughs> What's up, world? Teddy Jackson here, welcoming you to Teddy Burn, where I'm introducing two pieces of non-breathable plastic. Think about five garbage bags wrapped up into two good pieces where you just can't let nothing out except sweat. Yeah. Oh, man. Woo! I'm getting dizzy. Shit. Wait. Fitness is... No. Hey, what's going on, guys? Teddy Jackson here, and I want to introduce you to the Teddy Bar. I already know what you're thinking. Teddy, what is it? Well, I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's an adjustable pull-up bar. Why did I make it? Because some pull-up bars are just too high. So this one adjusts to your comfort level. That's right, adjust it to the right height and pull up all night. Let's go. Ugh. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Bar fell on my head. God damn it. Oh, Teddy. That's every time when I'm taping. You need to come up with something a little Shit. less dangerous. He may not talk to me, but everybody talks to him. I gotta say, it's a real honor. Working on this guy last couple days, but he trained with French Special Forces, so he's tough as... Sorry, my uh, wife's leftovers. Before we begin, I'd like to tell you a little about myself. I was raised by my grandfather on a frozen lake 50 miles from nowhere. He was a kind man. He taught me many useful things one brisk afternoon while we were fishing on the frozen lake we saw a large form approaching it was a grizzly my grandfather yelled at me to run so i took off as fast as my little legs would carry me and when i looked back i learned the last thing that my unfortunate grandfather would ever teach me bears have very sharp claws, which they use to fillet the skin off their still breathing victims. I share this with you because when you beg for your life, I'm not going to hear your screams. Any feeling I once had dried up on that frozen lake long ago. You're wasting your time. After I remove your eyes, your ears, and balls, all your sensory organs, if you still haven't told me what I need to know, please, I'm going to fillet you like that bear did my grandfather. Let's drink it! 
Velvel Grankin, 275 Castro Street. Velvel Grankin, he's there, I swear. Yeah, I'm gonna tell my grandkids of this one day. Or nobody ever. I like you. Tell your wife, wild juniper's the secret, not the store bought. Looks like bunny shit, so you better smell it first. Good morning, Yorktown. It's 10 past 8 on a beautiful Monday morning. None of my kids talk to me, and I don't even know where they are. Look who's up, huh? Happy birthday. What time is it? I think it's, um, I think it's baby making time. We can do it in that position that don't even feel good. It's good. It feels good for you. I'm saying for me, it's just more about a baby survival of the species. What? Right. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to break yeah. it down to I, you. I hear you, but you know you can't teddy that one, right? What? What does that mean, honey? That's what they call it at the firm now. If a paralegal screws up, they say they teddied it. They named a screw up after me. You're actually a verb now. <laughs> okay, listen, that's the past. Mm -hmm. Why are we talking about the past? I want to focus on the present. Look at this. Come on, look at it. On a cock, Virginia? I got us a little cabin for your birthday. Tons of baby making uh, time. Baby, what is this? I, I, I can't read this. There's no toner on the page. It's the reservation, babe. We leave tonight. It's perfect. Thank you. I'm not messing up your birthdays anymore, babe. On a serious note, did you talk to Marty about your business idea? I did not talk to Marty yet, but there's a reason. I'm just waiting for the right time. So there's never gonna be a right time, honey. You just have to do it. You're absolutely right. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna pitch it to him today. Today? He's gonna fall in love with it. The money that's gonna come in is gonna be ridiculous. I'm gonna pay our tax lien off. I'm gonna fix this place up. It's gonna happen. You think maybe we could just start with some light bulbs and toner? That's what Teddy and it looks like, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. I'll get the bulb. And toner. And the toner. <laughs> When I walk in the belly, gravy get it fucked. Every time I get up in it, I always pull up. Oh, I know, I know. I've been needing to come by with this. Well, you better come, buddy. Hey, we're going to punch harder. You guys, Marty's been the last thing. Hey, 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 this is the whole breakdown of the idea. Now, the big thing here is that it's still boxing without the contact. That's the beauty of the idea. Look at this. I'm getting that same burn that I normally would, right? Hush, 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 hush. But I don't touch you. I got so excited when I started to get into the idea, I decided to put up the first workout video just to get a response. Three comments. And the questions are simple. They're like, what is this? This? Not Justin. Could be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. Sales is not your forte. I'll be honest with you, Marty, I don't know what that word means. But what are you, what are you saying? Let me show you something here. Yeah, sure. See these flyers you made up? I spent my entire marketing budget on these things, and we ain't got one bite. Marty, they're gonna come through that door any day, any minute. You just gotta be patient, you know that. Well, they would be if you had put the address on this thing. What? I mean, Marty, who really needs addresses? My customers. Then they'll call you, Marty. You left out the phone number, too. Damn it, did I? Teddy, you're a nice guy. You really are. But I need a dude with some grit. I got grit. You firing me? I need a closer, Ted. Non-contact boxing. That's your closer, man. I'm sorry, Ted. Marty, I've worked hard on this.
Yes, ma'am. Ready to go back to work? The only thing I'm working on is my breakfast. Your breakfast can wait. I've got a blue chip client and he's got a red hot stack with a two million dollar fee. With respect, I'm listening. I thought so. It's a two phase extraction. One million dollars for each one. Payday like this comes along once in a decade. Where? On a cock, Virginia, 7 p.m. Jump on it. Oh, hey. Hey, there he is, my little avocado. Uh, so GPS says we'll be there by 6 p.m. I am so excited. Well, if that's the case, I'm gonna go get dressed now. Okay, sounds All right. good. Yeah. Ah. Oh, hey. Hmm? How'd it go with Marty? How'd it go with Marty? Yeah. It was, uh, yeah, it was, it was great. Yeah? He said it wasn't, like, the dumbest thing he's ever heard, so. Great. Yeah. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, too. Hit me. You're reconfirmed. Payment on site, in cash, at completion of job. Somebody will be waiting for you there. It's house 1465. Ruby. Wait, a day spa? I thought we had a cabin. We do have a cabin. I'm gonna go meet the guy at the cabin. Before I do that, I wanted to let you out because I got you two hours at a spa. Okay, Teddy Jackson, you are killing it. You like that? Yeah. Babe, hey, I got you set up for the whole shebang. You're getting a facial, Manny Petty. I love it. Okay, I love it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Tell you this one. Like the magic box. Let's go. Come on. Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh. This is nice. This whole thing is nice right here. Early. Well, if you're on time, you're late. <laughs> Ain't that right? Do me a favor, grab this box. No, I got bottles. Get the bottles. Woo! My legs. You big, ain't you? <laughs> oh, this ain't bad. This ain't bad at all. I'm glad I made it up here before it got dark, though. That would have been something else. Champagne. That's to celebrate. I'm gonna do a little bit of this, do a little bit of that. <laughs> this is all part of your method? No, man, this is just a warm up. You know, when you ain't did it in a while, things can get a little animal. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Gotta tap into that danger zone. Start using safe words. I can't say that I do. Oh, you probably got safe sentences, safe paragraphs. <laughs> <laughs> Where the bathroom at? I gotta pee, man. Behind you. Oh, shit! Oh! Damn! Woo! There it is. I'm sorry if you can hear this. I got a strong stream. Been like this since I was six. Called a consistent flow. That's what the doctor said. Whew. A little above average for my size. I'm at the tail end of it now, though. Whew. Whew. Oh, God. Man, I'm surprised I made it this far. I'm ready to get to work now, though. Well, follow me. Are you gonna take me on a tour? What is it, a 
Game room. Got a ping pong table down here. <laughs> Probably, hey, how you doing? You with the rental team? Good to see you. Oh my, hold on, what the? Uh -uh. Excuse me. We have work to do. You're not leaving until it's done. Yeah, I worked it. Oh, uh, Mr. Coughlin, allow me to introduce the man from Toronto. What? Hold on. Wait a second. The man from Toronto. Just give me, give me a second. Give me. Hmm. Wait. Hold on. Well, just hold on a second. I know a guy that knows a guy that saw you do this once. Said it was life changing. Now I get to witness it firsthand. Mm. Unless, of course, he talks. Unless, of course, he talks. <sighs> he said, if he talks, then things can be different. Because you, you know who I am. You know me. You guys all, everybody here must know who I am. Now, if you know what I know, that's that I love to communicate. So let's figure out the best way to talk. Right? Please. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Last I checked, communication is key to understanding. <sighs> is it muggy or you guys is a little... The air is right. Back up, back up. Put the hammer down, back up, y'all. You crowd me. Okay, and I can't do whatever it is that I'm here to do with you on my ass. Now, what you need to know <laughs> is that I don't know what is going on. I don't know what they want. <laughs> they call me the man from Toronto. I don't even know where that is. Is it money? Is it money? He starts with the eyes. Uh, you said what? I stopped. You start with the eyes. Mm. You gonna listen. I love eyes. I would hate for your eyes to be next on my activity list. I don't like none of this. I don't like nasty stuff. What? I don't like blood. They say he flayed an entire poker parlor in Minnesota. I, I did what? In Minnesota? Flayed the entire poker parlor. Goddamn right I did. Don't nobody else say anything. You know why? Because now at this point I'm getting angry. I'm getting angry and I'm about to get real active. Uh, Look at my thumbs. Because uh, oh. it's the last thing you're going to see. Look at this. Look at me. I'm going to do it. Oh, God. No. What? No. Do you want me to do it? No. Do you want to? No. I'm going to do it. No. Do you think I'm playing? No. Oh, I can't. No. Is that what you want? No, no. Is that what you want? No, no. Just say it! No, no. Just say it! I'll tell you! Say it! 4-4-5-0-8! 1253C! You thought I'm sorry, please don't. Please don't hurt me. Wait, wait, stop. Stop. Get myself together. Please, please. Let me get myself together. Please don't hurt me. Is that, is that what you needed? Hey, it's me. You saved our lives. Yeah. Tell the Colonel we got the codes. And the man from Toronto was going to continue on to Washington, D.C. to meet. Huh? What's that? What's that? FBI! Don't move! I do. It was a low toner situation. Me and my wife, we were going to a cabin. But because of the low toner, I couldn't make out the address. I didn't know if it was a six or an eight. Look, I'm not the man from Toronto, okay? I'm actually just an idiot from Yorktown. We're well aware, Mr. Jackson. So please, guys, let me go. Show him. This phone, mm, that don't look good, was recovered on the scene from the man who led you into the cabin. Just before the attack, a text was sent to the former Venezuelan Colonel, Sebastian Marin. Last year, Marin staged a coup to overthrow his own government. He was stopped by U.S. intelligence, but he and his wife escaped before they were apprehended. He swore revenge on us ever since. Marin has been planning an attack. We can't find him. The man from Toronto was our only way in. 
And now Marin believes that you are the man from Toronto. Our only way to find him is if you continue to be the man from Toronto. Why did I just get word that information was secured? Not by me, it wasn't. Some cut-rate operator just got lucky? Nor made a giant mistake. This is everything we know about the man from Toronto. An expert in over 23 martial arts. It's believed when engaging with clients, he uses 19th century American poetry as code. Some mess, huh? You got me out of bed. Intel suggests he grew up on a frozen lake in Canada, 50 miles from nowhere. After witnessing his grandfather being eaten alive by a bear, he was left an orphan. He's basically a ghost, apart from one known contact, a female by the name of Deborah, who we believe is his handler. He operates alone. still uses Hotmail. Please, guys, please, can I just go? You're supposed to meet Marin tomorrow morning in DC. Are you compliant? No, I will not do it. Okay, I'm not supposed to be in DC tomorrow. I'm supposed to be with my wife. And if I miss this birthday... Santaro can take care of your wife. Suavemente, besame. Que quiero sentir tus labios, besándome otra vez. Who is he? Santoro is the best we have. I'll pose as your wife's personal butler, escort her on 24 hours of shopping and luxury before meeting you tomorrow night for dinner in Washington. You will do no such thing. She'll be in great hands, sir. Oh, she ain't gonna be in his hands. Not those soft, well-manicured hands. I'm not passing my wife off to this man. Good-looking man like this that's gonna obviously be charming. Why can't it be his ugly ass? Why can't he go? If it was him, no problem. Stop your ass right here. No. There are lives at stake here, Teddy. Please. According to Oscar's phone, the meet is at the art museum in DC tomorrow. You draw Marin out, we grab him, you're done. All right, if I, if I have to do this, then, then I want you guys to do something for me. Okay. I got a tax lien that I've had for quite some time that's really affected my life. Tax lien? I also have an American Express debt. You gotta pay it back every month, and they never explained that to me in full. Great. Okay, okay perfect, we got it. There's a visa situation that's the same. Visa? You can pay that one off monthly, but I, I just, I botched that. While we here, I owe my cousin Carl $300, so if you guys could just send him a wire. All right. But make, make it look like it came from me, because he got a record. Sure. Does your wife prefer Swedish or deep tissue? What are you talking about? No chatter on the network. Did this grifter leave a signature of any kind? It would take a real pro to make it look this amateur. Did you grab the password on the email address? The algorithm is four characters in. You have two hours and 47 minutes as a full hack. Too slow. What do you got so far? Well, so far they have P, A, S, and S. He's toying with us. Be rude not to play along. Hey, what's going on? I'm Teddy Jackson, and I want to welcome you guys to my first ever non-contact boxing class. It's called Teddy Box. It's all the wow without the owl. Maybe you got somebody that you got a little altercation with, or had one with, or maybe there's somebody that just doesn't need to receive your love. Okay, let's go. I'm talking to you, Doug. You know who you are. Back when I was in school, Doug used to pop me in the back of the head with fruit cups. Well, right now, Doug, I'm about to kick your ass. You drive into a trap, you're on your own. Well, that's one way to look at it. The other way is, their trap's gonna drive right into me. Hey, babe. Hey, you. I'm starting to get worried. You started to get worried? I actually called because I, I got another surprise for you. There's somebody there to actually meet you. Yeah, I uh, just met Santoro. He's... Amazing. Did you know he went to Harvard? 
No, I did not know he went to Harvard. What else did he say? Just that Marty desperately needed you for a presentation? Why didn't you tell me an Equinox rep was interested in your non-contact boxing thing? Oh, babe, I was going to tell you. Stop girl. You know, I was going to tell you. You're not mad, right? You kidding? I'm proud of you. Santoro explained Equinox is paying for a DC shopping excursion, dinner tomorrow night anywhere we want, private dance lessons. Is he there, babe? Let me talk to him, because I just want to go over the last couple of things. He wants to talk to you. Oh. Sure. Don't you start me, you cut the shit. Ain't gonna be no dancing. No dancing. Perhaps it's best you focus on the very big presentation you have ahead of you? I'll take good care of Lori. That's Miss Jackson. Miss Teddy Jackson. Matter of fact, call her Teddy. Okay. Chiquitito, esa me la tiene pelada. And he speaks Spanish, girl. Hey. What a nice guy. Um, okay, babe. I love you. I love you too. Washington awaits. She got a big bed, drop her, drop her low. Mama called me and she happy with the girl. The meat is near the entrance of the museum. They'll say, oh, the bleeding drops of red. Then you'll say, we're on the deck, my captain lies, fallen cold and dead. Got it? No, I do not have it. What, what was that? When when are we when are we turn this into a Shakespeare play in the damn park? What are you? It, it's are you Walt serious? Whitman, All right? The man from Toronto always picks a password from 19th century American poetry. Oh. it's in the file, Teddy. Oh, okay. Well, that, well, that clears it up. It was in the file, as if I know what I'm reading. I told Lawrence you couldn't do this. I told her. Okay, listen, listen to me, man. What 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 else do I need? I just want to get it over with. Lawrence, you copy? Copy. I gotta put it somewhere. What? You didn't say that. You good right here. Just get that. What is what is this? That's how we can track you. This is how I should feel safe. That that's top quality, man. Bleeding drops of red. Gave me an earpiece or something so I can know the yard. Y'all can hear me, right? Y'all still can hear me. Get it together, Teddy. Get it together, Teddy. Come on, let's go. Bleeding tops, sir. No. The meat is on. All the bleeding drops are red. Oh, yeah. They are. Yep. Because on the deck, we all know what happened on the deck. That's where I hit my head. You heard what I said. What the hell is he doing? I'm him. I'm Toronto. <laughs> Daniela Marin. My colleagues, Luis and Andres. It is an honor for all of us. I'm eager to meet the Colonel. Once the next phase is done. That was one phase, right? I, I give you the numbers and then I get the money. It's, it's a wonder. No, no. Always two. No, that's not the deal. The deal. It's, the deal was to meet the Colonel here. Round and move. Going somewhere else, somebody gotta be watching, right? We, somebody. Nobody so. sees nothing, huh? Are you sure nobody else is watching us? Should I understand? Negative. We need Marin. I'm in pursuit. Follow them. Follow those SUVs. Go! Well, I am gone now. The man from Toronto has left the scene. 
Who would have thought it? First time the man from Toronto has ever sat, bitch. The vehicles are entering the underpass. Cross visual. Davis, give a visual on Jackson. Negative. 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 You are right behind him. He ditched the tracker. I think he ditched it. Scared they're gonna find it on him. What? You have a visual. Yellow truck headed south. He's in the yellow truck headed south. Assistance required. Copy. Follow that truck. Chuck and roll. Is that phase two? What, what, what is phase two? The man you met in the cabin, Mr. Coughlin, had a partner, Mr. Green. Mr. Coughlin had half of what the Colonel needed. Mr. Green has the other half. You will bring him to the Colonel. Without both, it's are useless. Davis, are you getting this? Turn around. Something is wrong. Pull that truck over right now. Visual on the truck. I'm sorry, where are we going? You're going to Puerto Rico. Um, okay, all right. How did we just lose him? I thought that we were going commercial. I don't know why I thought I heard you say Delta. Time to go. What, what is this? This is a... Uh... Oh, that's a big trunk. Somebody, somebody popped the trunk on this one. Y'all don't do a lot of talking, huh? My type of people. I don't like to talk either. Especially in the air. What, what is there to talk about? Nothing. Shit. Mess up. Whipping down. No. And it's not about you guys. We're on the same team. It's about whoever this is. This man is an imposter. Uh, objection. I mean, no. Stop. I'm interrupting that. Because those are, those, are, those are allegations with no ground. You're an imposter and cut it out. I need to speak to the client. I need to speak to the client, too. You're just going to parrot everything I Are say? Are you just going to parrot everything I say? I'm surprised at you, gentlemen, that you could actually believe that this whiny little mosquito is actually the man from Toronto. Gentlemen, trust me. I'm the man from Toronto. And I don't know where you're from, either. But I know that I come from a frozen lake 50 miles from nowhere. Are you stealing my origin story? That's a little secret of mine. I love 19th century American poetry. It's my hobby. Let's hear some Keats. You want to hear her old stuff or her new stuff? Well, he died at 25. You got some sack on you to come up here without gender etiquette. He may not identify as a he anymore. It's all about being gender neutral. Obviously, you didn't get the message. What's your deal? You don't know who you're offending. Now, are you okay? Is anybody offended? Are you offended? If so, this is the time to speak up. You owe a gender neutral apology right now. <clears throat> I apologize, gentle people. Mm. I don't have to do what you tell me to do. You ain't the boss of me. And what you need to do is put your weapon up. There is some sense in that. I mean, let's face it, we don't need to discharge a firearm 30,000 feet. That's not gonna benefit anybody. you damn right it's not. <laughs> Who's the man from Toronto now? <laughs> this is on you. Stop, stop, stop! Warning, 
Warning, caution. situation I thought that I had answer me yeah my neck I can't hang on it's my it's my lady's birthday weekend I was taking her to a cabin right and and we we get up there to the cabin but the address address was blurry the guys at the cabin they thought I was you it's a mistake man more than a mistake this is a full on pig fuck I don't know what that means. Where's this plane headed? Puerto Rico, because we're in, we in a second phase. Sit down. I'm here. Done. Why Puerto Rico? Some guy named Green is there. What are you doing? FBI tracker. Let me see your phone. But I gotta call my wife. I gotta go. I gotta yeah. go. Good, good. I gotta good. call. I gotta call my wife, don't. How do you think I found you? Right now, my priority is getting back to my wife. My wife has a birthday dinner, 7 p.m. You're lying. Why would I lie about dinner? No, about having a wife. I saw your YouTube video. Nobody who teaches non-contact boxing could possibly hold down a marriage. I mean, you ever actually punched a guy in the face? There was a time where I was, I was in a situation where somebody grabbed my backpack and I turned around without knowing who it was, hit her in the face. Uh, of course, we're younger, so she cried, and that's when the, the principal came. What are we talking about right now? My marriage, matter of fact, no, my life. My life is depending on it, do you understand that? Your life depends on this. Newsflash, I'm more afraid of Lori than I am of you. Will she torture you? With the silent treatment, yeah. Do me a favor, give me a little silent treatment for the rest of the journey. What you just did was mean. Hey, this 
Penny, I'll call you back. Hi, my little avocado. Oh, honey, I am having the greatest birthday ever, okay? Oh, and guess what? Annie's in town. Uh, hey, Teddy. Okay, don't, don't freak out, don't panic. I'm not gonna say anything rude or sarcastic for once. Teddy, honey, I have never said this in all the years I've known you, but wow, I mean, well done. You didn't Teddy it. This makes up for years of disappointment okay. and terrible uh, decisions. Honey, listen, I know Shame. you made a reservation for us, but Annie can get us into this oh, amazing yeah, place. It's supposed to be like food, dancing, just a whole experience. It's called L'Ambassador. Mm -hmm. It's French. So I uh, hope that doesn't mess up your plans too much, but I'm no, really excited, champagne. so I will see you there. Okay, Antoine, bye, Do you have any glasses? <laughs> I just want you to know that you killed six different people on this plane. And the fact that this isn't a big deal to you, it, it, it baffles me. It makes you a sick individual in my eyes. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. What, what does that mean? What does that mean outside of being untrue? Dogs don't eat other dogs. So it can be a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Now, naturally, a dog will sniff another dog's butt. He may lick some poop occasionally, but he won't eat another dog. Dogs don't eat other dogs. Well, you're talking about domesticated well-fed pets. I'm talking about a hungry dog. I mean, a dog that ain't afraid anymore. Mad dog. Okay, A, I've seen those dogs. I see one every day. My next door neighbor's dog, Stephanie, is one of those dogs. Let's talk about what else I'm looking at. Dead people. One, two, three, four. There were six. Two of them fell out the back. 40,000 feet to their deck. You're responsible to that. And you dropped your lighter. You dropped this, okay? And now we got water springing out the damn plane. It smells like gas. It smells like gas! Gas! Hey! Yeah. Talk to me, Toronto. What the hell is going on? I made contact. Wait a second. And who was Where it? Hell it was hell just a rogue asset? Uh, ready for this? His name is Teddy Jackson, hey! and he actually uses that Hotmail account. Did you let him live? Temporarily. Hey, man. Do I have another Minnesota situation here? Relax. The client thinks he's me. I have hey! no choice. I don't pay you to let people live. Make an exception. We got to find a Mr. Green, deliver him to Marin back in D.C. Where are you now? Puerto Rico. Jesus. Hey. You better get a handle on this Toronto hey. right now. Hey! You don't hear me calling you? Who are you talking to, Deborah? Is that Mrs. Toronto? Is that who you were talking to? My handler. Take a second and tell me the things that I need to understand. What is my part in the mission? Two parts, actually. Thank you. First part is, shut up or I'll kill you. Second part is, don't forget the first part. So you didn't hear nothing I said? So, so everything I... We just blew up a plane, man. I blew up a plane, man. You didn't do shit. I gotta get on things quick when the market's bearish. <laughs> Excuse me. Boys, mind if I join? You even a member here? Why, yes. I'm the man from Miami. I'm a guest of Philip Beaumont. Oh, well, I'm Philip Beaumont. Well, oh, you are. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. Hello? I have a job. Where are you? I'm on the course. Well, pack your bags. You're going to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. What's the offer? Two million. Bring the asset to the client and you'll get a big payday. According to Luis's notes, you are to collect green at a tech company event. So we got an hour to get you ready. Get me ready for what? To be me. Be you. What? Unfortunately, they don't have kid sizes. What do you think? You need to look like you've done this before. What do I look like now? 
like a guy who teaches non-contact boxing. Pairing, boning, and this. I mean, it ain't shirigami, but it's as close as we're gonna come. Do you have any idea how big non-contact boxing is? Look at this. Just from that. Never box at me again without actually punching me in the face. They got high, high jeans pumps. So I gotta get these. <laughs> no. We ain't getting that crap. We didn't ask for them. I asked for them. We are getting these. Get them. Stop pushing me. Shit. Hmm. What's that for you, little serial killer wall? You think you'd make the wall? Come on, man. You're barely fridge material. Hop on. What? Hop on. Hold on. Oh, God. Oh. Let me put this here. Get a good grab on you. All right, I'm ready. There's handles. Hi. There's handles. So why do you just say that? Why do you say grab the handles behind you from the beginning? That's simple. Go to Chango, yo. Chango Rima flow, yo. Vengo con mi son, yo. Cayo Thriller, yo. Vengo rumba, son con con. Y con y. Mando pa' liba la loca de John B. Can you tell me that this is some type of tech company event? That's what you're telling me? Yeah. Mouth is burning. You should have one out of these hot, hot cheese pots. Garbage away, man. I mean, garbage is good. I'm trying to be nice and give you some cheese. What's the matter with you? All I had to do was change the damn toner, and I wouldn't be in none of this. Yeah, but you didn't put the toner in the printer, and you're here now. Yeah? Stop living in your imagination. That's for Mr. Green to do. You don't think I know that? Well, let's not skip the fact that I'm now here carrying out a mission that I'm not capable of doing. You're gonna go in there and you're gonna give him your scariest look and you're gonna complete the mission but you have no idea what I'm gonna do to you. Mm. My bad. I got it. I got it. So whatever you were gonna do, you don't have to do to me. <laughs> I wasn't gonna do anything. It's just a look. It's all a bluff. Yeah? You got it? Yeah. Here. Thank you, man. I didn't want you to do it. Don't ever touch me like that again. A102 conference room. You got this. Game face. Not shit face. Game face. Go on. Right down there. Relax, will you? I'm gonna be with you. I'm gonna be listening. So? He's got a gun. Yeah, well, he would. Oh, the bleeding drops of red. We're on the deck. My captain lies fallen cold and dead. A man from Toronto. Really looking forward to seeing you go to work on this crowd. Crowd. One of these guys is green. We just don't know who. Which is where you come in. Aaron never dealt with green face to face. We traced him to the R&D department here. This the entire R&D team? Yep. Shit. We need you to figure out which one is the real green. Take him to the colonel back in DC. At his hotel by 9 p.m. tonight. Here's the address. You can do this. And you will. <sighs> I got an address, but I don't have all the information I need. One time, one time only. Who is green? 
Do you guys have any idea who you're dealing with? The man from Toronto! Shit. Let me do my thing. Sorry. I do have a reputation. Show him what you brought. I got ways of getting my answers. And I'll get them. See? You dropped the knives? You want some help with that? Questions. You're asking the questions. Are you familiar with reverse psychology? No. That's right. The answer is no, because if you did know, the tactic that I just employed, dropping my utensils on the floor, making me seem to be incompetent, it was all just a ploy to get into their heads. Mind games. And I got a lot of them. Mixing stuff up is what I love to do. Question is, who am I going to do it to first? Eyes. Look him in the eyes. We can't afford for you to teddy this one. Get up from under that table, wave the knives around. Don't be a wuss. Guess who's back? <laughs> Me. That's who. Own it. Oh. You know what this is? Some kind of disemboweler. I don't like bowels. What about you? I, I, I don't know. Looks like it's gonna be some human ass on a hibachi grill tonight at Teddy Hanna's. I knew this wasn't gonna work. Cutty, what you want me to do with this? <laughs> do this all over your face. Please, please, I'm not green. Are you not green? I'm not green. He say he not green. That's what he say. Don't make sense to me. It don't make sense. <laughs> if you not green, then who is it? <laughs> What? You didn't actually cut his eye, did you? I can't see. You can see. I can't see. You can see. I can't see. You looking at me, so I know you can see. Shut up. If I hear another peep, I'm going to get the bigger knife. Got a little bit of blood on your damn face. Open your eye. Uh. <laughs> Swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> You are a train wreck. I'm green! I'm green! Please stop! I'm green! That's green. He's green. I heard you were the best, but... Wow! Yeah, I just... Don't what I do, right? Hey, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey. What you doing, man? We can't just put him back, can we? No, 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 no. Listen. Now, first of all, I want to apologize because I know that my breath doesn't smell the best after what I just did. <laughs> now, this ain't the solution. No, we can't do it like this. What the hell? What is that? It's what? In your ear. Are you wearing a wire? Stop, stop! I can't hear! On this side, it's a hearing aid! Oh, the hell are you talking to? Me. Yet? On the ground. Good. Call you as soon as I intercept. So they're paying me to deliver you to Marin. Well, I wonder why that is. Are you familiar with DARPA? Obviously. I am. Had it two times. Once in the back of my neck, one time on the back of my knees. DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. That's not what I had. I had a wingworm. Coughlin and I worked there in the early 2000s, developing seismic explosives, untraceable. Makes the blast look like a subterranean tremor. Mm. Two years ago, our former boss called General Hansen. He asked for help with a top secret project for an unnamed client. I didn't get many of the details. We didn't know that Hansen had been hired by Marin. What for? 
blowing up the Venezuelan embassy in Washington. When we realized what he was planning, we built in two fail-safes. The remote detonator to the explosive. It needs both Coughlin's coded sequence and my thumbprint. So they're after your thumbprint. You know what, we're not gonna deliver you to Marin. Of course we're not. You sat here, you let all these people go, now you're about to do the same for him? People can change. I'm proud of you, man. Thank you. I think you might want to step out for a second. Oh, you guys are about to chat. Yeah. I'll go and give you guys a second. I'll be back, man. I'm really proud of you. Awesome. Okay. Dope. People do change. <laughs> Cheese bag. Cheese bag. Open it up. Last pat. Hey, here. Take this, man. You don't need me anymore. Actually, I do need you to deliver the thumb. No. Did you hear what they said back there? You're gonna have to kill me to get me to do anything like that. It's not happening. Do you hear? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's not me you need to worry about. They have your photo. They know who you are. You have no choice. I do have a choice. And I choose not to be you anymore. I'm done. <laughs> who are you? Just got grazed. Didn't get no graze. You shot me in the ass. You're such a baby. You know, I'm surprised how taut this non-contact makes the buns. Told you, man, it's all cardio. 
It's really about giving your body the best chance to succeed. I got a good look at you, though. That's some nice ones, too. Yeah. Tell me it's done. Got ambushed, barely made it out. You heard from Marin? I heard from Marin? No. Who ambushed you? Could you ID him? Did you see his face? No idea. Definitely a professional. Where are you with phase two? Well, we got all we need a green. Heading back to DC for the handoff to Marin. That'll be at uh, 9 p.m. tonight at the Monarch. Did you hear that? Uh, heard what? Your handler just lied to you. What are you talking about? Talking about her repeating the question. That's a clear sign of stalling and lying. I used to do it all the time. Did it this morning when I was talking to Lori. <laughs> I've been in sales for 10 years, man. I know that move. Yeah, well, I've known her for 20. Have you ever seen her in person? No. We're leaving. What is this? Passport. You're gonna need it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We have a flight time to Washington, D.C. of three hours. You know, I saw your file. I did. I know about the bear and your grandfather, and I just want to say, I want to say that that's tough. No child should have to go through that ever. It's a you lot. You don't know what you're talking about. I know that Deborah. Deborah wouldn't want this. She wouldn't. You think you know me? I know you. I looked at your little online gym channel. Seven views with one upload three years ago. And seven views. Yeah, three comments. Yeah. You think that Low Toner got you into this situation? No. Never doing what you say you're gonna do is what got you into this situation. Being afraid. Not being able to follow through, not having the guts. Yeah, you literally fight air. The only thing you ever landed was that poor woman who calls herself your wife. I get the feeling you're about to teddy that. You know what, man? You're right. Just realizing that I haven't been the best husband that I could have been. Can I use your phone? Make it snappy. Keep it on speaker. Yes. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Beck. Teddy. How you doing? Missing you. Missed a presentation. I miss you, too. I just called because I want you to know that I'm... Sorry for missing your birthday in the past and Teddy and everything. I just... Davey, don't worry about it. I actually do worry about it. You sure you're okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fine, I promise. Okay, then. See you tonight. Oh, and I just want to make sure you got my message about the new reservation. 7 p.m., L'Ambassador. Oh, it's supposed to be the most amazing place. Yeah, I'll, um... What are we doing? I didn't even say goodbye, man. Hello? This is a historic moment. Hello? Not just for Venezuela, but for... Well, you can say hello tonight at the ambassador. Wait, the drop is supposed to be at 9 p.m. You gonna let me go? Oh, uh, yeah. Not only am I gonna let you go, I'm gonna let her know you're bringing an associate. Today, President Henderson and President Arvito of Venezuela will celebrate the opening of the new embassy. By the way, I've been waiting to check this place out. It's got durian sorbet on the menu. The hell is durian? Yorktown is entering the restaurant with an unidentified male. Do you copy? We get an ID? Negative. This could be the Marin meeting. Ambassador, security feed coming up now, ma'am. Hey, you want to hold on to the thumb or you want to check it? OK, come on, let me talk to you. Please. Please. I want you to relax, OK? Listen, use your partner. Get your hands off of me like that. Let's go to the cameras. Stop with the paranoid stuff. It's 
somebody looks you in your eyes and they smile, smile back. Make eye contact. Be a person. Perhaps you'd be more comfortable in this, sir? That's not the type of eye contact that I'm talking about. Thank you. My pleasure. Oh, no problem. I'm just asking that you make the most out of this, okay? How do I look? Who's she with? Her friend Anne. Why? You didn't tell me about Anne. I didn't know that I had to tell you about Anne. Uh, what's the problem? I get uncomfortable around women. So how do you deal with Deborah? Deborah is different. Stop Deborah. It, stop it, stop it, stop it. Why are you complicating this? It's the same thing okay, if you were talking okay. to Deborah. Hey. Hey, there you go. Oh, hi. 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 Oh, my God. I thought I was never going to see you again. Ooh, here I am. <laughs> Who is this? This is the man from Equinox. OK. Yeah. All right, let's Wonderful. snap. Let's snap. Yeah, OK, yeah. great. Where are we going? Okay. Come on. Hi, let's Patty. All snap. Hey, Anne. Who is this guy, Santoro? Does he look like Colonel Marin? No, ma'am. It must be the man from Toronto. This is our chance. Can we get a higher resolution? That's a negative, ma'am. Get me another camera. When Teddy texted, I didn't want the whole third wheel dynamic, so I brought you a date. Don't worry. It does not have to be a date. Anne's my best friend from college. It actually could be Mr. Tall, Dark, and Scary. <laughs> no. No. It can't. All right, stop. Don't even panic. That's his way of telling you he's taken. He's got a lady. Her name's Deborah. Right. Well, actually, Deborah is a uh, 1969 Dodge Charger 440 RT. Come again? What'd you say? Deborah's a car? The 440 RT is not just a car with eight cylinders of big block high torque horsepower. It's a weapon. I am happy celebrating my wife's birthday. Yes, my love. Correctly. That's right. You look good. And it's a man's size, too. I love it. I got it. And, uh... Some nice ink over there. Are you a chef, or...? Oh, well... Yeah, I, I wanted to be. Uh, it's not too late? Well, you know, I actually thought about that. I, I thought about opening my own place, and a, rest, a great, great restaurant, but... And I just remember everything, and it just doesn't seem <clears throat> realistic, you know? Really? Why not? Well, just kind of scary. I mean, what if nobody came? I'd come. Really? Mm-hmm. It's got to be him. Do you want me to intercept? Wait for backup. Davis, where are you? Five minutes out. I finished that before everybody. <laughs> oh, I love this song. Look, they're dancing. This is so cute. Can we dance? Baby, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, baby, please. It's my birthday, and Santi taught me tango today. Santi, what? Why? Because I wanted to learn. Get up. Let's go. Just, no, come it on. It was hot. Yes, no. it was. Yeah, it was. Well, we're going to unlearn it. No, we're going to unlearn you whatever you taught you. No. Oh, it's because it's your birthday. All right, you ready? Let's go. <laughs> no, I, I don't dance. No, don't or you can't. Won't. Will. Let's go. Come on, cowboy. Stand up. Oh, Thank you. Uh, uh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> come on, you crazy. You're not a dance. Just move your body a little bit. Just move, yeah, loosen up a little bit. Just like move your limbs. <laughs> you got it. Come on, move your limbs. Like that. Less weird. Listen up, there you go. Yeah! <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you, Mama. My country needs me. Homeland security depends on it. Santoro, don't be a hero. I'm 60 seconds I'm out. moving in. Agent, stand down. Get a little crazy. Onde você vai? Um lado leira, um lado leira, um lado leira. Onde você vai? Stress. Okay.
bathroom break. Uh, okay. I gotta take a quick bathroom break. Okay. 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 Hey, hey, we gotta go. No, I don't have this. Now. Now. <laughs> we don't normally see two guys going to the bathroom together. Yeah, go. What about the dancing? What is going on? Santor, you copy? guy is here, man. The waiter? No, not the waiter. The guy from Puerto Rico that tried to kill us. He's here. Do you think Ann likes me? What? What are you talking about? I was dancing. Hey! I mean... Snap out of it, man! He's trying to kill us! Now I need you to go back to being the killer that you are. And I need you to understand that we are in trouble. Are you not listening to what I'm saying? He's here! Who? Me. The man from Miami. Give me the thumb. Now. Hand it to me. Just walk it over. Thumb. What are you... Why are you doing that? Stop. I still can't believe you stored a human thumb inside of a cheese puffs bag. The cheese puffs bags was throwing you off. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, the preservatives are... Keeping the thumb intact. Nobody's thinking about that. Yeah, she was right. You're out of control. She? As in the Mrs. Man from Toronto, your handler. She said you'd gone Minnesota again. I told you. Before you shot me in the leg. No, it was an accident. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I bet. Need some help? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go. Wait, come on. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. We gotta go back here, man. Lori. No, we're going to the Monarch Hotel right now. What do you mean right now? We gotta right? intercept that thumb. It's her birthday Get in. Get in what? You're driving. You want me to steal a cop car? You want to see the irony in that? Asking a black man to steal a cop Get car. Frick. Stop right there. Stop fine. Fine. You know what? You're going to deal with the consequences. You're going to talk to Lori. That's what you, you're going to do it. And I'm not, I'm not dealing with nothing that comes from this. Nothing. What happened to being a person? Drive! <laughs> Hola, mi amor. There's a man here who claims he has all you need of Mr. Green. Colonel, who is this? No sé. I am the man from Miami. Think of me as a surprise upgrade. I don't like surprises. How can I trust you? 
Because I'm telling you to. He's one of mine. And where is Mr. Green? Mr. Green couldn't make it, but... His thumbprint did. Payment will be delivered after the fireworks. Fair enough, my friend. They're not here. And it turns out a patrol car is missing from the scene. We're tracking the car now, ma'am. They're headed for the Marin meet. All right, we are on the move, people. Let's go, let's go. What about Marin? Are we helping Marin? I just want my money. I got it. You know what? It's just like Minnesota and all those damn people you kill. It's no different, man. How do you kill anybody in Minnesota? I killed a lot of bodies. Because that's what killers do. Killers kill. I didn't kill anybody. I was about to pull the trigger on a hit. The guy was a chronic gambler. Owed a lot of money to the wrong people. And then I saw the kid. Like the kid at the frozen lake. I just I wanted to break the cycle. Sorry, man. But after I set the man free, he went on a rampage. Yeah, but how would you know he was gonna do that? He said, if you set me free, I'm gonna go on a rampage. Anyway, this job gets me my cash, then I'm out. You talking about your restaurant? How much do you need to do that? Eight mil. Get a whole food court, that type of money, damn. I want it to be special. Mm -hmm. Has the number always been eight mil? Better start it out at two. <laughs> Just like me, man, you're scared. I promise you, on my honor, no one gets killed tonight. I mean, as near as you can predict these things. But I need you to be me one last time. Thank you, Jessica. Now we're live here at the opening gala in Washington, D.C., where the new president is about to give his speech. I dreamed of this day, a new Venezuelan embassy. To my friends from the United States, us countries that need to fight vision. Con gusto. As you're all aware, relationships between our countries have been... They celebrate its opening tonight. We send the desserts. They will have their cake and we will kill them too. Like me, also envision this new building as the beginning of the new era. Give me a call in sequence. When on an international stage, I'm a of the troubles. Matt, we have a visitor. And the thumb, please. Now. Stop! These people are imposters. Oh, says who? The man from Toronto. Oh, the bleeding drops. Of Wendell, who you've been speaking to on the phone for the last 20 years. Put the guns down. You're making him nervous. He's got a bad stomach when he's around weapons. Who is the man from Toronto? Colonel Marinera, give me a second. You know me. That's what she said, not me. Well, enlighten me, tell me something about myself that I don't know. Because last I checked, I know about me. So what do you know about me that I may not know that you know? Who's Deborah? Oh, that's your question. Mm. Did you hear that, Wendell? She wants to know about Deborah. I'm gonna let the information fly. That was a 1969 Dodge Charger. 440 RT. 440 RT. You know what that means? That means I got the big meats in the back with a sway bar so my ass wiggle. When I'm in the streets, I mark it up so you know I was there. It's me pulling off and pulling out, rubbing and tugging. But you wouldn't know that because you 
don't know me. You know why you don't know me? Because you never met me. And that's intentional. Because that's how I do business. I'm done with the whispering. The volume just elevated. Because now you're wasting my time. You think I would wait till now to actually let you speak to me? Let alone see me? To the real me? To the me that I know that I am right now in this moment and not who you thought I was? I know who I am. And don't you tell me who I'm not. Because that's gonna confuse everybody. I saw this whole thing coming. <laughs> you smell that? Because I do. There's people trying to play games with the man from Toronto. You don't play with me! I do the playing! This is all a mistake. You're a mistake! This is all pig sex! Now who's ready to oink? I know that noise, y'all heard that? to the thumb it wasn't even green it was this guy who the hell is that that's the guy who was holding the hostages in puerto rico but the bomb wouldn't have even gone off guess the man from toronto wasn't gonna go through with it you're a lucky guy to know a woman like lori once in a lifetime dream truly thank you world tonight. And I lost mine. Not today, Stephanie. Hey, this is Teddy. I'll call you back. I called Marty because I was worried about you. He told me about your job. I need some time. Teddy, I don't know how much. I just, I don't feel like I know you. I don't even know if you know you. What you're looking for, what you need. I just wanted you to be there for once, like you said you would. I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew you'd pick up. For old time's sake. You know the rules, Toronto. You don't complete the job, you don't collect the cash. You bring that money to Yorktown, or I'm gonna kill your friend, Teddy. How's that for your new moral compass? Rumors of my morality have been greatly exaggerated. You're a fool if you think I'm gonna let you have that money. You know what this means, don't you? Don't look at me that way, Deb. You're a bad influence on me. Pass. I thought he was dead. Перевод. Еще раз. Ваш кредит с казино исчерпан. Sir. Prison. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Some skin in the game. Hey boys, looks like we've got a payday.
so stupid. I'm coming, Lori! Miami. Oh no. Where is he? How are you talking about? Where is he? I don't know, man. He took the money and he left me for dead. Where is he? Where is your friend? He's not my friend. I got nothing to do with him. Toronto. Come on, no, no, man. No, don't do it. No, no. back for me. Yeah, I thought of you dead, just didn't sit right. I think I'm going soft. <laughs> Hit me in my back with a damn club, you bitch. Hey, I gotta get to the train station for Lori. Yeah, I read your text. You hacked my phone? You're the only one who knows who I am. That makes you a liability. Well, let's go get your gal. Over there! Now! Well, well, well. Look who it is! Hell Men from Tacoma Brothers. You can pick the fight with some people from the medieval time. What the? Show me the leg. Marty's fitness. So we go through there. We go through the back door. Hey, that's a great idea. Take this. I'm on it. I'm on it. You son of a bitch. Second favorite gun. Because it was out of bullets. Yeah, so it's just but I had backup. Well, I didn't. <laughs> you are that man, Toronto. Who the hell is that? Man from Moscow. Nowhere to run, Toronto. <laughs>
Thomas and I'll tell you all the story about the truth around the thieves here. That's my payday. <laughs> Looks like you've cashed your last check, Toronto. He practices these lines in front of the mirror. You recite that 18th century poetry in the mirror? 19th century, bitch! Saved my life. I broke my hand. Yeah, that ain't normal. Okay, let's get you to the station. <laughs> Which way? I want my money. Oh, come on. Oh, she's pissed. Go, 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 go! go. go. Somewhere in Minnesota, huh? You know, there is nothing sadder than a hard man gone soft. Why don't you let him go? You got me. Okay. What's that? Keys to Deborah. Money's in the trunk. If there was ever a time for you to be a closer, it is right now. I don't know what else you want me to do. I done pressed every button the thing didn't open. Okay, let him go. Do you forget how this works, baby? We don't let people go. You said don't pull a lever. We disappear them, don't we? There's a lever? Yes, there's a lever. Now I'm gonna disappear your friend first and let you watch. Pull that lever. You said never lever. Sometimes lever. Like now. Still nothing. Come on. You might have sorted it, Teddy. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I did that! Okay, well, I hope you're happy. I done boiled a goddamn white woman because of you. You gotta stop. You gotta just die. I think you just made human tempura. I mean, look, all killing aside, it's just me and you here, so I can admit, it don't smell bad. Warning. This here smells like gas, though. Warning. Not like ass gas, Warning. but like gas, like fuel, right? Gas in her jacket or something. Oh, shit. Yeah, you do smell it. You blew up a warehouse. We blew up a warehouse. Huh? Hey, I, uh... I know you said not to say nothing, right? But... I don't, I don't have many people that I can open up to, man. This last couple days, well, it's been, um, it's been, well, I can't say it's been good, uh, but in some type of like, some kind of weird way you've somehow managed to inspire me. Through all of this that we've been through, you, you got me wanting to be better, man. I mean, I hope, I'm, I'm hoping that I've had like the same effect on you, you know? 
Maybe we can be friends after this, stay in each other's life. I don't want to get emotional, but I just feel like there's a possible. Where's your friend? Who are you? I'm from Tokyo. I'm here to kill Toronto. I don't have time. What will the cycle of violence end? It ends right now. After I finish off this poser. Get your girl. What are you talking about? Go on, get in there. You gonna let me take Deborah? Yeah, yeah, I'll find you. Hey, two things. First thing, you so much as scratch her, I kill you. Second thing. Don't forget the first thing. I already know. Yeah, you got it. Get Thank out. you. Bye bye. Get out of here. We cannot keep up with it. Come on, Teddy, come on. blood okay you need medical attention no but... no no that's not what i need i figured it out i know what i need i need you i need you already you're all i ever needed i'm so sorry Couldn't even make eye contact. Now he's totally in his element. I know. Turns out Mr. Tall, Dark, and Scary is all bark and no bite. I feel like he's turned over a whole new leaf. I think he's over that frozen bear on the lake thing. Oh, totally over that bear thing. Yeah. Question. Yeah. Did you guys like this? Teddy, Do I don't know what it is. It's durian sorbet. I want to be polite, so I don't like it, but I'm going to finish Congratulations it. Congratulations on your new restaurant. Hello. Hey. 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 You look fantastic. How's that little loaf rising? Uh, what? I what? want to murder everyone all the time, so. Yeah. I've been there. Mm. Hey, baby. Hi. Thank you no, so I've been much. This. No, no, stop, stop. I got it, I got no, it. No, no. <laughs> Back yeah, off, nice. man. Very nice. No problem. What is this? Is this a three or eight? I can't tell. You see that? Oh, God. Low toner. Low toner. What type of man doesn't have a spare toner? It's an eight. Well, thank you for a delicious meal, man. We, uh, we appreciate it, and we'll get the next one. Mm -hmm. I got actually good news for you. Babe, give me a sec. Of course. Thank you. Come here. Yeah, come here. You ready for this one? I took the liberty of making you a partner in my online gym. Big moment for us. I'm celebrating, which means that I'm going to let you celebrate, too. What I have in my hand right now is your first down payment for your car. <laughs> Is that a one or seven? That's a one. Hmm. Yeah. I want Deborah back. The chassis was cut in half. The engine practically evaporated. She's gone. That's your problem. Cut the shit. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Like 
краю пропасти встав на колени Кого ты увидишь в своем отражении Лип беспощад на обглоданный времени Взгляд тяжким бременем, окутан все целанием Два по двенадцать полжизни, ты думаешь Все впереди до сих пор, но чего же добился Кредиты, долги на долгах, всем до бог Ты не верил в него, но молился Стоп, пути отступления нет Живешь в бренном теле, а в чем неизвестно Ты играешь да в лучшую ту роль, но Слишком поверхностно и повсеместно Куда не взгляни всюду, пафос и ложь Как-то так людям маски сменили их лица Я бы с радостью съел свое сердце и съел из груди, чтобы вновь не влюбиться Я не хочу вопрошать, как дела, чтобы слышать в ответ Ну нормально, как Санта Так глупо на светских приемах Ощущаю себя среди оленей, как Санта Тщетно и все цело, бесцельно Где бы я ни был, бесспорно, наверное, манерно Вы притворялись, поверь, но Вижу насквозь ваши длинные нервы Здесь стало нормой словами кидаться в чужое белье не стрематься, соваться В порядке вещей не стесняться, кривляться Время летит, это 20-16 Будто бы только вчера застегнув тебе куртку Мать прищемит подбородок Больно, но не настолько, чтобы выйти из дома с билетом в совсем чужой город Где песочный свет? Что мы и ком был спасателем? Долгие годы мне нет, выхода нет Все позади, мой голландец разбился о скалы Где песочный свет? Что мы и ком был спасателем? Долгие годы мне вверх, берег мой склеп Накроют волнами пронизанных ветром надежд Где песочный свет? Что мы и ком был спасателем? Долгие годы мне нет, выхода нет Все позади